Separatist leaders in eastern Ukraine ordered a full military mobilization amid growing fears in the West that Russia is planning to invade its neighbor. The announcement came amid a spike in violence along the line of contact between Ukrainian forces and the pro-Russia rebels in recent days. With an estimated 150,000 Russian troops now posted around Ukraine's borders, the long-simmering separatist conflict could provide the spark of a broader attack. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Saturday the country was ready for everything, with fears rising over a possible Russian invasion of Ukraine. Speaking at the Munich Security Conference, Zelensky called on Western nations to take action against Russia before any potential conflict begins. Але вибачте, лягати в граби і чекати військових українці не будуть, не будуть. Ми ні на кого наступати не будемо, але і але готові до всього. Розумієте, ми не можемо бути пасивними. A Ukrainian paramilitary group offered training to civilian volunteers in the capital Kyiv on Saturday as fears of a further escalation mounted following a spike in violence in the east of the country. The Georgian Legion formed in large part by ethnic Georgian volunteers to fight against Russian aggression in Ukraine in 2014 now includes people of various nationalities. Those who have joined include people from countries such as the U.S. and Albania, recruited to help bring more foreign volunteers to the group. Currently, there are few U.S. citizens in the Georgian Legion. One of them who presented himself only as Adam and refused to give his surname because of security concerns said he came to train the civilians. Uh, I'm here to help teach uh, civilians how to defend themselves just in case uh, you know enemies invade Ukraine um, I'm here of my own free will volunteering my own time uh, I go to school in Kiev and uh, I'm not being paid by anyone uh, it's just me the commander of the Georgian Legion, Mamuka Mavulashvili, has said up to 3,000 volunteers will be trained at the Georgian Legion base in Kyiv. A survival training for women was also held in the capital. During the gathering, women were taught how to best protect themselves in case of a major escalation.